Our first speaker, we're in for a real treat. Pinhas Adar has a terrific and an incredible story. Pinhas, he arrived in the United States when he was 22 years old. He didn't know anybody. He had one bag and $300 in his pocket. He was only equipped with a handful of English words, but he had extreme determination. He became a leading dental professional. Please help me this morning give a warm welcome to Pinhas Adar. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Good morning, everybody. It's such a privilege and blessing to be here in front and sharing some time, some, uh, some ideas that I gather together through my journey in life and business. My mentor, Les Brown, has a saying, shoot for the moon. Even if you miss, you're going to land among the stars. And that's the philosophy that we all have to share. So as you think about your goals and your dreams, think about the impossible things. Because how many people told you that you couldn't do something? We started that journey when we were kids. If you look at the impossible dreams, there is something there that you can recognize. I am possible. I am possible, and you do too. And I don't know you, as some of you I do know, but those of you I don't know, I know something about you, that you have greatness within you. You have more than you ever can imagine. If information was enough, everybody will be skinny, rich, and happy, correct? So there's two ways you can go about what you want, about you think about your dreams and goals, what you love. Everybody say, if you love something, you're going to get it, have a passion, and go for it. You have to find your why. Why do you want something? Not what you want, but why you want it. To me, I think sometimes we have to go the other way around. What do you hate? What do you hate? I mean, personally, what I hate and the purpose that I'm here is I hate mediocrity. That's something I, I cannot stand because there is no reason. There is no reason for mediocrity. Well, one of the suggestions was for me to improve your skills of communication is to use a recording device. Every time you talk to a patient, consultation, or even your staff member, everybody tapes themselves. Now, you can use your smartphone, or you can use a recording device. And the reason you do that, so you can listen to yourself with the group of team members that you have and kind of critique each other. Yeah, I'm Pat Allen. I'm a periodontist from Dallas, Texas, former president of the American Academy of Aesthetic Dentistry. And I heard Pinkus Adair speak today at the Seattle Study Club Symposium in Florida, and it was a fabulous presentation. The guy is a gifted speaker. He has a great message for everyone to hear whatever area your specialty is, and I would recommend him to anyone. It was fabulous. Thank you.